Mike Tickety Check, Tickety Check Check, Tickety Check Check. Hello and welcome to Odessa English. My name is Odessa and on this channel I will be speaking English <laughs> in a English learner friendly way, but also in a casual, entertaining, hopefully, and real way. In this first video, I'm going to introduce myself using a learning exercise and a couple of my sisters. I have six sisters, but don't worry, you'll only be listening to three of them answer some questions about me. Before you listen to these conversations, have a look at these keywords and phrases that you might hear while you're listening. Keywords, vivid, memorable or clear. Grief, sadness and pain mixed together. Misunderstood in regards to a person. When how you think and feel is different from what others believe you think and feel. Unveil, to discover or to find something. Adore, to love and respect someone or something. Heritage, culture, traditions, and values in a person's life given to them by their family. Horoscope, this refers to the month you were born Every month has a different horoscope and it tells you about your personality. Depending on where you live, you might know a different symbol or a different animal for each month. Key phrases. Do you have time? This is how you ask someone to do something right now, politely. Picking you up. This is how we say, I will give you a ride from somewhere. The person isn't with you yet, so you will go pick them up and give them a ride, usually home. An emotional turn is how we describe a conversation or a story like that was originally not emotional and then something happens and now the characters or the topic is extremely emotional. You can use turn at the end of any type of change in a story. For example, this game has taken an exciting turn or their relationship has taken a romantic turn. Ooh la la. Give me a second. This is very similar to just a second. Although I usually see people use give me a second when they need time to think. And I usually see people use just a second when they're going to physically do something or they need time to go complete an activity. On the tip of the tongue is something you can say when you know an answer or you know a word and you just can't remember it. The tip of the tongue refers to the word literally almost coming out of your mouth but you just can't quite get it to formulate. A trick question is when the question is formed in a way that's going to give you trouble when you're answering it on purpose. A hidden talent is not necessarily a talent that's a secret just not a lot of people know about it. Okay, grab a pen or a pencil, some paper, get comfortable, like, subscribe, and listen. Hello, Zarya. Hello, Odessa. How are you? I'm okay, how are you? <laughs> this is my youngest sister, you can tell. You got the teenager vibes. Oh my God, my mic's not plugged in. Okay, let's start again. Oh. Hello. Hello. Hi, Zaria. How are you? I'm good, Odessa. How are you? I'm good. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Brampton, Ontario. Perfect. Thank you. Do you have time for me to ask you a couple of questions about myself? Yes, I have time. And yes, I have time. Excellent. <laughs> Let's, start. <laughs> Let's start with the first question. It's really easy. Where was I born? And where am I from? You were born in Atlanta, America? Yeah. Can I, can I you, wait, is that how you say it? Atlanta, America? Atlanta in America. Yeah, Atlanta, Georgia, America. Okay. You were born in Atlanta, Georgia, America. 
Ooh, and you are from Canada. Excellent. Yes. I was born in America as a baby, but yeah, my whole life was in Canada. Disneyland is the biggest American memory I actually have because I was raised in Canada. Zaria, have you ever been to America? I have been to America. And what did you do when you were there? Do you remember? I went to Universal Studios. Okay, second question. Zaria, are you ready? Yes. How many languages do I speak? Two. Two? Oh my gosh. Okay, Three. what languages do I speak? You speak English, Japanese, and oh. a little bit of French. Okay, first of all, that's three languages. <laughs> Can we, I, I changed my mind. <laughs> and no, wait, stop. I'm so flattered that you think I speak <laughs> Japanese. Like, I'm so flattered, but you're <laughs> going to offend Japan. I do not speak <laughs> Japanese. Okay, so what? It's just one. I speak English. Come on, girl. You don't know how many languages your sister speaks? Well, I thought because you asked the question, it must be more than I know, English. I know. That's a trick question. I thought it was tricky. But I don't know. I thought it was kind of like, I thought you'd get it. So, what is your most vivid memory of me? My most vivid memory of you would be picking you up from the airport from Japan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking because I still had Zuko. Yeah. Oh. That's so, this is sad. It's all right. Just so you guys know, my dog died. <laughs> no, don't tell. Oh, I'm not good with grief. I don't know. Okay, and we're back. That was an unexpected emotional turn. Zaria, that's the last question I have for you. I'm Thank just kidding. You. I love you. How many countries have I been to? And can you name them? I can name... Four countries. Wait, wait, one second. Give me a second, actually. Take your so, time. I can name five countries you've been to. Okay. I can name China, Japan, Korea, America, and Canada. Good. Okay, so you got four. And you know what? I'll give you China. Because I went to the Chinese airport and I had to stay there for, you know, over 12 yeah. hours. So I'll count yeah. it. You know what? I'll count it. No one else said yeah, China, Zaria. Good job. <laughs> you were there. Yeah, I was there. You missed a couple. You know, you missed Trinidad and Tobago. Oh, Trinidad and Tobago. Yes, I know. I know. Obviously, it's easy to forget because it feels like our home. Um, yeah. Then also in grade 12, you're kind of young. I went to the Dominican Republic for my graduation trip. So I also mm. went to Dominican Republic. And I've also been to England with Maisha oh, last right. year. Oh, I literally forgot that. Yes. And did you say Turkey? I did. Okay, good. And then that's Turkey, my... Korea. I just said the Asian ones. Yeah. Well, you know, because I was in Japan for the longest. I was there for a year. So I understand. But honestly, I want to go to more places. So the list is going to get longer. So you better remember. It was good talking to you. Thanks for being on my first episode. No problem. Love you. Love you. Bye. Hello. Is this Maisha? Yes, it is. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Where are you? Right now, I'm calling from Toronto, Ontario in Canada. Ooh, nice and cold, right? Freezing cold. <laughs> okay. Today, I would like to ask you a couple of questions about myself, if that's okay. Okay. Okay, so the first question is, what university did I go to? You went to the University of Laurier in Waterloo. Good, good. Wilford Laurier in Waterloo. Perfect. Okay, what is my all-time favorite TV show? Your all-time favorite TV show mm -hmm. is Nickelodeon. Avatar. Yeah, yep, that's it. Yep. <laughs> okay, and follow up question. Name one of my favorite animated characters. One of your favorite animated characters 
would be Squirtle. Oh my gosh, yes, I do love Squirtle from Pokemon. I was not yeah. expecting a Pokemon answer. Thank you. That feels personal. Thank you. <laughs> what? Who is your favorite animated character? My favorite animated character is from Spirited Away, and it would be No Face. Oh, creepy. Why do you like him? I like him because he is a very misunderstood character, and that makes me feel understood. Third question. What is the most interesting thing about me? The most interesting thing about you is definitely your personality because there are a lot of different layers, a lot of different levels to understanding who you are. And I don't think I've even unveiled that yet. So that's the most interesting part about you. And I hope I can continue to grow and learn alongside my sister who I adore. Oh my gosh, I'm actually going to cry. I was not... <laughs> expecting these emotional answers okay <laughs> you know what you guys really are my sisters as soon as Amar finished answering the questions she said what do I win <laughs> I'm gonna give you a bonus question now actually the same one she had and let's see how accurate you are it is how many countries have I been to and can you name them? Okay. I can definitely start it off with somewhere we've been together. So we'll start with England, mm -hmm. London, England. Um, and then let's move on to the fun ones. You were in Japan for a while. Yes. Um, you were also in America for a while. Mm -hmm. You went to Turkey for a little bit. You've been to South Korea. Yes. To... I'm missing a big one. Yes, you are. And I, it's on the tip of my tongue, and I'm like, I know. Think about the T's. Tip of the tongue. T. Oh, th no. Thailand? No. Not Thailand. I said turkey. Think about your heritage. Oh, Tobago. <laughs> Tobago. Oh, yes, Tobago. So that's six. Damn it. I always think that everyone's going to forget that, but you guys all remember. Like, dang. Okay, Maisha, those are all the questions I have for you. Thanks for answering them. Thanks for calling me. <coughs> Hello. Hi. Who am I speaking with? This is Amara. Hi, Amara. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Perfect. Your first question is, how many years have I been teaching English? Um, I want to say at least three years. Okay. Okay. You know what? You're right. You are right. I've been teaching for four years. This is my fifth year, four complete years, and technically at least three years is correct. Technically. Yay! <laughs> okay. Second question. Name okay. a hidden talent that I have. A hidden talent. Hidden. Hidden. Um, I would say it's not really hidden, but you would probably make a good comedian. Really? A comedian? I mean, I, th I agree with you by it's not hidden. I know I'm funny, but a comedian? Like yeah, I think you could actually make real jokes with punchlines and, and actually have it like as a career if you ever wanted to. Oh my gosh. I'm actually, <laughs> this is so funny because I was literally thinking about this yesterday, like seriously being like, I could do a stand up, like I could do it. I could you write could. some stuff down and do it. Okay. So, but honestly, yeah, well, you have a lot of content. So it looks like I don't have a hidden talent. I have a hidden career. Clearly, Ooh. I'm going to be a stand-up comedian now after this call. <laughs> yeah, but I love that. When people are, like, saying things that you're thinking in your head, I feel like that's the universe being like, yes, you should do this yeah. on the right path. Validating it. 
Yeah. You know what? Maybe I'll have like an English learning stand up routine I'll develop, you know, for English learners. Because I think humor is so important to learn. That would be perfect. And I think, yeah, a lot of people forget about humor or struggle to learn humor when they're learning a language. So I think I should start looking into that. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Amara. That's a great answer. Thank you for that. And I thank you for that hidden talent that you think I have. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Now, could you please name the funniest thing you've seen me do or seen happen to me? The funniest thing I've seen you do. Hmm. Um, this is a tough one. You've done a lot of funny things that I, that have just been like super random without any context. So, <laughs> I'd have to say the funniest thing. Oh, just thinking off my head because I can't think of anything from like a long time ago. But I, recently, when we just had our last phone call and I sent you those photos and you didn't know it was yourself in the photo <laughs> because you looked at like different, tired. <laughs> So oh, that was pretty funny. <laughs> my God, I'm gonna have to put that picture in this video because I can't yeah, even think to. about it right now. I was like <laughs> disgusted that it was myself when I realized it was me because I was like, oh my gosh, who is this Amara? Like, this person needs help. Like, they don't look healthy. You look good, they don't person. look healthy. <laughs> You're like, that's you. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but that day I was really tired. We pulled an all-nader. You know, we were cooking and doing stuff. Oh, yeah. That's why. Oh, my gosh. The holidays. Woo, that's hilarious. And I'm going to put a image for you guys watching so you can see. But essentially, you know, treat everybody like not how you want to be treated, but like they are you. Because they might be you in a really bad picture. You might not realize it. <laughs> It's true. So be be kind to everyone, even photographs. Be kind to everyone, you never know. It could be you. It could be. <laughs> okay, I have another question for you. <clears throat> okay. What is my horoscope? My Greek horoscope and my Chinese horoscope. Animal. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tricky. I only know one of those. I know. <laughs> I know you're a Scorpio. And, okay, the Chinese horoscope, you are from the year of you're 1995, mm -hmm. which is the year of the... Uh, I'm going... The pig, yeah. Yes! I literally have a tattoo of it on my body, but I can see how you can forget because <laughs> <laughs> it's on my knee. You never see my knee. So that's okay. Yeah. I forgive you. I've seen that tattoo probably twice yeah. in my life. Yeah. <laughs> I got to post it. I'll post it on Instagram or something. A lot of people don't know about my pig tattoo and they're like, why do you have a pig? And I'm like, really? I feel like I've exactly. said this a thousand times. I'm born in the year of the pig. And I like pigs. Yeah. <laughs> but it's also moving, right? Yeah. When you move your leg, it, it looks like it's flying, flapping yes. its wings, right? Yes. Maybe I'll put a clip in, yeah. but if I can get it, angle it. But yeah, when I open my knee, it looks like it's kicking off and flying into the sky upwards. And when it, my knees close, it just looks like it's just, you know, chilling. Like you don't think it's anything special. Just a regular pig yeah. with wings. Okay, Amara, can I ask you one more question? Yes, go ahead. Okay. How many countries have I been to? And how many can you name? Oh, that's a tricky <laughs> one. Honestly, I literally, my heart tells me you have been to like six mm -hmm. countries. Okay. Oh, but then I feel like it's more. Okay. But, and I'm just going to go off the ones I think. So you've been to Korea, mm -hmm. you've been to Japan, yes. you've been to Turkey, you've been to the States, 
You've been to some Latin country for your S, like your high school trip. I'll give it to you, Puerto Pada, Republic Dominicano. Dominican. Yeah, you've been mm -hmm. to Dominican, and you've been to Tobago. Mm-hmm. And you've been to London, the UK. And I've been to the UK. You got it. So that's seven countries, and you're pretty dang close. Yeah. But I'm going to count this as an X just because you can't be perfect. Only I can be perfect. <laughs> okay, no. Okay, perfect. No, but thank you for answering that. And I'm so shocked you can remember the names, especially my high school grad trip. So extra points for you, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I think those are all the questions I have for you. Did you want to ask me anything? Thank you so much uh, for coming wait. on to the... <laughs> How many sisters do I have in total? Where is Zaria, Maisha, Amara, each calling from? How many countries have I been to, not including China? What country is also a part of my heritage? Am I American or Canadian? What's the name of my dog who died? What's your hidden talent? Let me know in the comments. Okay, that's all for this video. How did you score? Let me know how easy or how difficult you thought this listening exercise was in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully I see you in my next video. Bye.